Welcome back, welcome back to BSG African Electronic Surgery. Mm, it's Thursday afternoon. Le, let's continue with the, the story with the fixing devices, you know. And uh, we're lucky today we have the electricity. So let's capitalize this time, you know. What we have, we have an ASA mini laptop. Uh, which was booked in as no power okay it's a uh, SR model RMN dash P O Y A Y that's the model of this mini laptop it's some kind of uh, two in one you know so look you can split this so here we have the keyboard and i don't know what is on this other side maybe maybe the motherboard maybe i don't know what is inside this and i have i've never fixed something like this on the other side we have some uh, ports for the charging hdmi okay let's put back this the problem the customer didn't came even with the charger let's try to power on on you can see that this we do have a switch here let's try to power on you can see i can hear the switch is clicking but it is dead it's not working so that's what we have to fix so where can we start here let me check we have the two kind of uh, charging ports we have this one you can see this one for for classic chargers in the other one here so if I may check at the back, I don't even, I can't even see the kind of input voltage and amps which we have to supply here. That's another challenge, you know. But uh, let's do this. I want to, to check what is on the other side here. just to to make sure of uh, what where can i start here because i never fixed this so this is my discovery video you know let's open this because the other side we have a keyboard and some usb ports only and that's all so i'm curious to see what kind of what what exactly is the side and obvious we do have the the touchpad things you know you have the screws here maybe this one out two more screws yeah let's play you know okay so on the other side look the whole panel we have nothing here we have the touchpad that's the keyboard connector and here we have the connector of the screen ribbon, ribbon cable ITE yeah that's the ITE 85 
95e that's the microcontroller this one we have one coil power supply and some cheap 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 and that's all okay no battery things no charging port so let's eliminate this because if it's not working we have to probably on the other side that's where the battery is so i don't think our fault is from this side let's close this let's put back all the screws you know yeah it's quite quite hot outside very high temperatures but uh, we have to do some repairs you know we have to do some repairs So let's put back all these screws and uh, concentrate on the other side. Yeah, every day I'm getting like uh, new jobs, you know, which is good. There's nothing bad with that because uh, that's how we are going to learn, you know. So, the only way to learn, okay, let's close this. We have this, you can separate this. Let's leave this aside. So, how I can take out this? Maybe we have some clips, maybe. We try to get inside, you know. I have to do it carefully because I don't want to damage anything. You know that feeling when you, you are not sure how to open a certain device you have to do it carefully you know so that you won't damage anything that's what we are doing here we have some clips okay okay this one is out so that's what we have on the other side we have this connector which is connecting this with the bottom part and here we have a battery that the switch panel here and we have a, another board here that the charging port the first charging port this one and the other one here we have the battery okay so On the input, we have a conductor, and that's all. So, what can we do here? Let me take out this cable. I just want to see if this battery has got some read writings, you know. I don't want to supply wrong voltages here. Let's check out this connector. Oh, I can do it. I want to go on the other side of the battery, you know. Ah. It's just when... Okay. When it's off. I just seen the light. That's crazy, you know. So on the back, 
look so what was the problem restart it's restarting okay let's continue you know so on the battery what we have we have 3.8 amped 4.2 fully charged yeah that's crazy you know let's put back this connector let's put back the other connector also so what was the problem here there was a frozen bios maybe so this one is clearly is working with a 5 volts charger so let's check the battery voltage still on ground plus 